Now, we just looked at the split squat or headquarters as one of the great staging positions in the sport of Jiu-Jitsu. Now let's look at another great one. This is the knee drop. Whenever we're working with a dangerous opponent in front of us, very often they're going to be looking to get all kinds of connection upon our body. And uh, one of the more common forms of connection here is like so, okay? And uh, connections like this can be very, very threatening when you're when working in positions like this. The problem is that my head is starting to go below my hips and just nothing good ever comes out of that. My feet are being pulled up to the hip line of my opponent. And as a result, I'm starting to be taken out of balance forwards and backwards. So this is all just dreadful stuff on my end. So what we want to be able to do is recover head position. Currently, my head is being taken below my hips. I want the opposite. I want my head above my hips. But if I'm on my feet like this, it's very hard to do because he's pulling with that damn cross lapel grip. So what I want to do is I want to knee drop. I use my knee in the inside position and join my elbow and knee. So my right knee and elbow come back together. Then I take my other knee and I sit back and away. And I end up in this good position here. Okay, this is very stable. When he tries to pull me forward, my right leg is a brace. When he tries to render my elbow vulnerable, it's very difficult to pull my elbow and knee apart. When he tries to pull in on my head, it's quite difficult because of my bracing lead leg. And now it's quite easy for us to start pommeling our hand to an inside position. Okay. Once we get to a position like this, we can use this to start breaking grips. Then we can get a hold of our training partner's gi pants and work very effectively from this position with my hands inside my training partner's knee. There's no reason why you can't start coming underneath an opponent's leg and you've got a whole bunch of good guard passing options here. So this is a great way for you to shut down your opponent's ability to break your stance and recover into a very strong guard passing position. It's a nice alternative to the split squat, the drop knee. So here we are. He's got the beat on us. He could be doing this from this uh, form of guard. He might be doing it out of spider guard, double spider, for example. It, it's always the same kind of idea. We just put elbow and knee together. And then from here, we drop down and we start taking inside position. Okay, once we get that inside position, we're a lot healthier. We've got a knee and elbow close together. If the knee and elbow are far apart, that's when all the problems start. Okay, so we want knee and elbow. Our base is nice and uh, well developed here, and you have an ability to stay over your opponent's hips and pommel. Okay, from situations like this, once we get a hold of our training partner's knee pants, then from here we can start going through into our various passes. Okay, so once again, my opponent has me in a rather wretched situation, like so. Okay. From here, join elbow and knee. Sink your weight. Then from this position, drop and get your head further away from him. And as a result, we can start dominating the inside position. Once we get to inside position, we can go into very, very stable passing positions. So we very often use this. Um, you can even use it just right out in the open from supine situations. Anytime my opponent's back is on the ground, I recommend this position. I don't recommend it so much when he's in a seated position. That's a different scenario. But anytime we're in here, this is a good position for us to work from, okay? It's a relatively safe position where you have a braced knee. It means it's hard for him to pull us forward. Elbow and knee integrity is maintained. It's easy to maintain this position. He can't lock a closed guard. There's no closed guard from this position unless the guy's extraordinarily long. Um, and from here, it's easy for us to access our training partner's gi pants or the inside position inside the hip, like so. And as a result, from here, not difficult for us to go into other strong guard passing positions. So the knee drop is one of the more successful staging positions for us to launch a strong uh, guard passing attack. It's a good way of shutting down your opponent's offensive capabilities calming the storm and so you can now focus on how you're going to pass this guy's guard.